For many years, plastic in the ocean has been a topic many has discussed. It is estimated at least 4.8 million to 12.7 tons of plastic enter into the ocean each year. The plastic can be distributed widely across the ocean surface, settling into sediments and accumulating in marine life. But what if scientists could take the discarded plastic and use it as fuel? Before we discuss how plastic can be converted into fuel, let's dive into how plastic is made. Step 1 Extraction Crude oil and natural gas are extracted from the earth. Most modern plastic is made from crude oil or natural gas. The structure of plastic is made of polymers or a chemical structure that can be easily molded into any shape. Step 2 Refinement the fossil fuels house into a factory and they're made into a ethene and propane. These are two chemical compounds our basic structure is for making plastic. Ethene comes from crude oil. Propane comes from natural gas. Step 3 Cracking. Ethene and propane are shipped to a cracking facility to be broken down or cracked into chemical compounds. Ethene breaks down into ethylene and pro propane breaks down into propylene. Step 4 Polymerization. A catalyst is added to both chemicals to create a resin. Ethylene becomes polyethylene. Propene becomes polypropylene. This resin is cut up into tiny pieces called pellets. The pellets are sent into another factory to be heated and modeled into plastic bottles, containers, bags etc. Researchers believe that they can convert this plastic into fuel by using hydroliquefaction is defined as depolymerizing of plastics at their high temperatures between 300 degrees Celsius to 550 degrees Celsius at high pressures between 250 bar to 300 bar. Essentially, the idea is to collect the plastic first. Once enough plastic is collected, then they're brought onto a port where a reactor can go and convert the plastic into fuel by using this hydrothermal liquefaction process. And then that fuel can be used to well, fuel boats and stuff like that. It's essentially, the idea is to replace regular diesel, like fossil fuels, with what they now term to as blue fuel, which is plastic. There are consequences to this proposed idea. First, hydrothermal liquid faction involves booms being placed into the water in order to collect plastic. Researchers found out that the distance between the booms plays a part in collecting plastic. It is hypothesized that booms over 25 kilometers from each other will take longer to clean up. They also discovered that booms in places like river mouths, smaller environments are better collecting plastic than compared to the big ocean. Second, there are already booms and systems put in place for collecting plastic. There are companies that take the plastic that's already in the ocean and recycle them down into things like decks, sunglasses, water bottles, etc. Third, Hydro liquid faction is going to be more expensive in the beginning. The initial cost is going to be close to an estimated amount of $2.8 million, up to $3.52 million for the complete system. This does not include the cost of the booms, the ships to collect the plastic. In addition to the cost of the blue diesel fuel, will be close to $4 more compared to competitor prices. The technique of hydrothermal liquefaction unfortunately produces as carbon dioxide as waste. The carbon dioxide waste will generate, generate carbon emissions. However, as the study proposes, then 10 years will be less significant when it comes to emissions compared to the 
traditional methods of ships that are currently collecting plastic and ferrying it back to the recycling.